The big screen heroes may get all the glory, but these voice actors prove that small screen characters can be just as engrossing. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 actors who had roles in both Marvel and DC animated shows. Hello, sister. You called, I came. Now show me what I want. For this list, we're looking at actors who have appeared in animated television shows based on Marvel and DC properties. What are you gonna do about it? First thing I'm going to do is go cover my tracks so no one else can figure out. You know. It's been taken care of. Number 10, Phil Lamar. You are not helping your cause here, son. Stand down. He may have started out as a Mad TV cast member, but Phil Lamar soon realized his true calling was voiceover work, and he's appeared as some of Marvel and DC's most powerful characters. For Marvel, he's voiced the disastrous Nuke in Avengers Assemble and the mysterious Cloak in Ultimate Spider-Man. Hey, I got your back. Starting to think Fury was wrong about Cloak. This dude's amazing. Both of these characters show the vastly different performances Lamar is able to turn in. DC is where he's truly shined, though, as the celebrated Green Lantern, Jon Stewart. All right, I took your lightning. I won't make that mistake again. On both Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, Lamar's layered performances gave fans reason to argue why this lantern was better than the original. Next time, Green Lantern, I'll do you proper. Quiet down in there. <sighs> Number 9, Neil Patrick Harris. Your resistance to my charm now ends when I belt these power cords. Though he may be more well known for TV roles like Barney Stinson and Doogie Howser, Neil Patrick Harris has proven he's an excellent voice actor. He's also proven that he's one terrific singer, and he lent his pipes to Batman the Brave and the Bold as the Music Meister. This devious villain tried to take over the world by controlling others through song, and was a perfectly lighthearted baddie for Harris to play. His work with Marvel, on the other hand, saw him voice one of their most popular heroes. Hello, Peter Parker. His sardonic tone fit wonderfully with Spider-Man's quips. How'd you track me? You have a thing for 30 millimeter carbine tracers. Highly illegal and sold right here. Oh, I forgot. You're not a paying customer, are you? So much so that he got to reprise the role in the game Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. Number 8, Gray Griffin, aka Gray Delisle. I'm your number one favorite hero. You've written fan fiction about me. She's made a career out of voicing awesome female characters, and the same can be said of her work in the world of superheroes. Avengers Assemble gave her the opportunity to show how vital a member Captain Marvel is, with the character's immense power going hand in hand with Griffin's confident delivery. You want to bring it? Then bring it! She's also been given the chance to play things a bit more lightheartedly with DC. Let's make this quick, boys. It's dinner time and I'm starving. Batman the Brave and the Bold saw Griffin take on the role of Black Canary, and she's portrayed the Amazon warrior Wonder Woman in DC Superhero Girls. Zeus isn't here. He's probably with Dionysus. This guy's your brother? Half-brother. It's a long story. Each character Griffin brings to life comes with the poise and self-assuredness one would expect of a hero. So, how about that dinner? Your treat. Number 7, Will Friedel. Does that make me a, a prince? The official title is Star-Lord. What a coincidence! My mom used to call me Star- That's not a coincidence at all, is it? Chris Pratt may be film's definitive Star-Lord, but this Boy Meets World alum brings all the sardonic wit and Devil May Care attitude fans have come to love about the character. Just in a more kid-friendly environment. Oh hey, it's the True Believer Lady! I believe you should put on your pants so we can get out of here. He's voiced the character across several shows, from Guardians of the Galaxy to Avengers Assemble. Friedel is no stranger to DC either. He brought childlike wonder to Blue Beetle, a massive superhero fan who became one in Batman the Brave and the Bold. Uh, thanks. Great to be back. Who are these people and how do they know me? Though he's also shown he can explore darker waters in his role as Terry McGinnis in Batman Beyond. Doesn't take a detective to figure that one out. Number 6, Troy Baker. I believe you know my brother, Loki. Greetings, Avengers. Good to see you again. Although renowned for his roles in superhero video games and animated movies, this voice actor merits inclusion in this list based on his TV work alone. On the Marvel side, he's a mainstay on Avengers Assemble and Guardians of the Galaxy, as both the voices of Hawkeye and Loki. Heck, yeah, is this situation's not insane enough already? 
On the DC side, he's an instrumental part of both the Young Justice and Justice League action casts. Dr. Jace had a name for the powers in my bloodline. She called it the Geoforce. Huh. Geoforce. He even got to do his iconic Joker voice for the Batman Unlimited series, giving viewers a small taste of the role for which he's so well known in feature films and video games. <laughs> Huh? Number 5. Clancy Brown They're saying that Lex Luthor hasn't changed, that he can't be trusted. <laughs> can't say I blame them. This well-known actor has one of the deepest and most intimidating voices out there, so it's a good thing both DC and Marvel have taken advantage of it. What? You've never seen a Red Hulk before? Brown has portrayed the Red Hulk on Avengers Assemble with appropriate ferocity, though he's also brought that intensity to Taskmaster on the same show as well as on Ultimate Spider-Man. Spider-Man, nice of you to finally visit my school. Unfortunately, I'm no longer accepting applicants. The animated role he will most likely forever be linked to, however, is that of Lex Luthor on Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. Fans of this Superman villain know him to be cunning and ruthless, and Brown nailed everything that makes the character tick in his chilling performance. You think you understand me? That you actually have anything to offer? Number 4. Kevin Michael Richardson Hundreds before you have fallen by my axe. Which of you would be next to accept such an honor? Though not quite as big of a name as others on this list, Kevin Michael Richardson has brought so many fantastic heroes and villains to life on the small screen. Behold Trigon, master of the dark, destroyer of dimensions, enslaver of civilizations. Enough with the resume, Dad. And there's no doubt you've heard his voice somewhere. Batman the Brave and the Bold saw him voice numerous villains like Black Manta and Steppenwolf, where his booming voice paired wonderfully with the comedy of the series. I wanted to do that within five minutes of knowing him. More recently, he's been seen as the villain Trigon in Teen Titans Go, and everyone's favorite walking, talking tree in Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers Assemble, and Ultimate Spider-Man. It's okay, it's okay, he's with us! Just like Vin Diesel, Richardson has proved it possible to convey a multitude of emotions with three simple words. Number 3. J.K. Simmons Spider-Man is a masked menace! It isn't often that an actor brings a character to life in live action so well that they're asked to reprise it in an animated format. But that's exactly what happened with J.K. Simmons and his role of J. Jonah Jameson, time and time again. You Avengers, the Fantastic Four, you're all vigilantes! Simmons nailed the arrogant rage of the character in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy and has reprised the role across various TV shows. New York City, we've been invaded by another insect. This one calls himself the Beetle. While some are superhero-oriented like Ultimate Spider-Man and the Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, others are pure parody like The Simpsons and Robot Chicken. Stop the presses, send my wife some flowers, and bring me an Advil. What do you mean you don't work for me? You're hired. Now that you're hired, you're fired. Now that you don't work here, we can be friends. Now that we're friends, how come you never call? Some friend you are! Though not quite as hefty, Simmons has voiced two imposing figures in Justice League Unlimited, Wade Eiling and the Apocalypse Warrior Mantis. Fall before the power of Mantis! Number 2. Tara Strong Don't worry about it, Tiger. I can handle myself. This voice actress is one of the most prolific working today. On the Marvel side, she's voiced noteworthy roles like X-23 in Wolverine and the X-Men, Mary Jane Watson on Ultimate Spider-Man, and many other strong female characters. It must take so much out of your life. Don't you sometimes wish you could just be a normal person? But she may be a bit more well-known for her DC work. She's voiced Batgirl in numerous movies and video games, as well as the series The New Batman Adventures. Once you two are out of the way, ain't gonna be no one to stop me. Don't bet on it, gruesome! Her most iconic comic book role, however, is no doubt Raven of the Teen Titans. Azeroth Metrion Synthos. Strong brings a blend of confidence and darkness to the spooky half-demon, making her one of the more layered heroes on the team. Not like I expected a parade, but... Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Spider-Man, allow me to introduce myself. Worst me day ever. 
A super suit must exhibit creativity, craftsmanship, and <laughs> practicality. Your first suit is due at the end of the semester. I'm not a man. I'm an animal! While I can stand, I will not stand for this. I will teach you the honor of Kun Lun. I just wanted to help. Did I do okay? Tick tock, tick tock. That, my friends, is the sound of time running out for you. Dr. Octavius vanished in that explosion. And Dr. Octopus was born. In any event, I've made your favorite French onion soup. And when you let it get cold this time, note that it's in a microwavable crock. According to the city's master plan, this is the original town library. But it's been abandoned for decades. I'll take that. Don't ever lose this. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Mark Hamill I ask you, Harley, who's given more hours of amusement to the Gotham Police Force than me? No voice actor has become more synonymous with their comic role than Mark Hamill has with the Joker. Playfully balancing along the line of twisted and delightful, Hamill flawlessly embodied the role during his time on Batman the Animated Series. Smell the roses, Batman! He's since voiced the character in video games and animated films, but it isn't the only comic book role he's taken. He's also voiced one of Spider-Man's most iconic villains, Hobgoblin. <laughs> so this is what it's all about. More recently, he portrayed Ulysses Claw in the Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Dr. Pym, I presume. My name is Ulysses Claw. I'd like to have a word with you about the vibranium sample you're working with. Both of these Marvel roles have seen him bring the aplomb and wickedness fans have come to expect when Hamill is attached to play a villain. You've become my hobby! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.